everyone, it's Hani. Uh, today I'm going to make some uh, pockets on my uh, little loom, loomy thing. This one. It's a children's loom. So I'm going to use that. And what I'm going to do is make some pockets. I can show you over here. That's one. And that's one. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. And I have made this one. This is one uh, made of a little, well, strips of paper. You see? These are strips of paper. And I put some lace on it. This one uh, I made five years ago, so um, not the pocket, but the the weaving, the looming. How do you call that? Uh, that's uh, yarn, twine, uh, lace, pieces of paper, even text, and I made a pocket of that. That was still on the on the loom. So I made a pocket of that, and this one I made uh, this morning. It's only from yarn and a little piece of lace. So, I'm going to show you um, how I do that and what I use. So, um, well, maybe I should put this a bit like this. bit so that's okay I think um, well how you prepare the loom that is uh, well that depends on uh, what loom you have and uh, this one um, well I had just to knot uh, all the strings all the yarn to uh, or twine, whatever you use, to this thing, and through through here, and then through some. Well, it's quite complicated, and I can do this, so I can put those things through what I, where I want to weave with. So, uh, how to do that? Well, that, like I said, that depends of which loom you use. Um, what things do I use to uh, put the yarn or uh, paper or whatever through? Uh, well, I have several things. I have my ruler. I can use that. I can put... Um, I don't have the yarn yet. I will fetch the yarn. I have a big box of yarn here in several colors. And I could use red, black and white, or maybe I could use this. There's yarn in it, white and um, brownish. Don't know what's in there. And some, um, well not lace, band, trims. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have... This is a... Yeah, it was in a glue thing. Could use that. This way. Oh yeah, and this one I said I have. Could use that one. I have something I, you use with clay. Well, there's nothing on it, but you can wind something around it. Let's take a piece of yarn. This one you can pull through. Here, if you want to. Like so. You see? And you can do that with this thingy. Um, well, there is nothing in it yet, of on it. Maybe it could 
go this way. You can use that. Uh, a long needle. You can use a long needle. Uh, this is what my uh, grandpa made when he... Um, Well, uh, he, he, he made nets, fishing nets, and something like, some things like that. And he made this himself. You can uh, do twine or yarn around this and then use it that way. And I have a little piece of wood. Could use that, could drill a hole in there if I want to, or just put something behind, between this. Like this, there's a little, uh, well, I split it in two, you see? So I can do that. Uh, this is a piece of, well, metal. I didn't do anything with that yet. And a uh, wooden, wooden pin, pin. And I have a tweezers but the the not normal tweezers but when it's when you do nothing it's closed and when you uh, pinch it it opens so it's the other way around so you could use that so um, and I use those thingies to uh, start the beginning I will do this way so it it's something, uh, well, when you do this, it's harder to, or it's uh, easier to get it straight. That's what I do. So, um, use yarn. Well, I will use yarn this time. Maybe I will start with something. Well, I will just empty the box here. Are there... Oh my gosh, it's all kinds of stuff. This is a piece of fabric, trim, could use that, but I only want to use yarn this time, I think. Or maybe some band. Oh, this is a nice one to start with. And you can do it with your fingers, of course. You can do it this way, just like that. <laughs> Just like so. And I have a comb. If I can't get it, I will do it this way. Because I'm now at the beginning. And this thing, well, it doesn't go that far. So I do it with a comb. A hair comb. Uh, I will do it twice. It's very easy, you know. So, um, what shall I do now? White, piece of white. And I'll show you how I do. How did it? Oh, yeah, I did it <laughs> this way. If I can get it around, like so. Uh, which way shall I go? This way. Um, the other way around. I hope you can see it good enough. Where is my comb? Maybe I can do another. This is the right way. Yeah, I think it is. So, so I use this one. Now I can use this one. 
um, just have to look. I think this is the easiest way. But I can get it with my tweezers. No, it doesn't go the way I want to. Well, I will weave and uh, I think I speed it up so you can see how I do that.
So now I'm stopping with this one. This is big enough. Um, I can do two things. I can cut uh, cut it off and um, well make a part and uh, well attach the the little um, well how do you say that the 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 the, 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 the this twines again to the loom but I can do uh, if I want to make another pocket I just can wind this make this loose that's possible with it, this loom I just do this go further And when I start, I can start a new one. I have to have another stick. Where do I have them? Those. But, um, well, there are two things you can do when the, the pocket, um, when you want to make the pocket, you can uh, not uh, make knots in these thingies, in these, uh, I don't know how you call them, but these twines these you know, it's yarn in my case and uh, so you can make knots in it so it doesn't fray anymore but you can glue it also so but when you want to make knots you have to be sure that this distance is enough to make knots in not only for this one you have to have this well this length to make so you can make easy knots and when you start with the next one you have to have this too so you you or I can start over here with another pocket if I want to so I can do that so I have to go further with this there and I have to go all the way up I think this is far enough well, a little bit more so I have enough yarn to make the knots with if I want to so I'm pulling this Um, tight again like the, uh, this yeah it, it's possible so I can start another one and I think I want to do that in another color and I think I'm going to use some orange stuff. And yellow. So I'll start with this one. I think that's a good one to start with. Um, yeah, this way. So I'm going to make another pocket the same way I did uh, the other one. And when I'm done with that, I'll be back. So I'm almost done with this one. Um, yeah. Oh. 
almost done. Well, we could use a little piece of this maybe. I'm leaving uh, these frays here because I'm not sure what to do uh, with those if I go to knot them together or glue them but we'll see that when I get these things off the loom so maybe another piece of this one well, I think this is big enough for a pocket uh, maybe a piece of this and the other way Just like so. So, I think I quit now. Oh, this is a nice bit. Well, this is big enough. I think I'm going to put a piece of lace over there. Well, what I'm going to do now is uh, put this off the loom. to wind this oh. so I can cut but the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of yarn and put not in there just to keep the things together and just cutting this off like so and now I can get it off I have two pockets on here which I made today. So I will cut these off. And my loom is going to move to here. So those are my two woven pockets so I zoomed in a bit now um, I'm going to cut this in half in the middle and I'll show you uh, two ways to finish this this and that's the easy way and that's just um, getting a piece of paper just copy paper and I use copy dyed paper And glue that on on the back I think this is the back I'm not sure but let's say this is the back I have to be a bit careful 
because I'm ruining it already. Well, I will get this off, this one. That doesn't work. I was a bit too clumsy. So I cut a piece of paper. Well, this size, this width. Ah, it's so wonky. And this high, I think. Well, if you watch more often my videos, you know I can't cut straight. And I'm going to glue that on here. There's my comb here. Oops. Just putting it together again a bit. So I'm going to put glue on this. I hope I had to use my tooth, but that was the wrong. Oh gosh. Sorry. I can't get the lid off. So I have to use this one. Just putting glue on there. It's fabric glue, so it will stick. And I will glue that on here, just like so. Push it. Just like that. And let it dry for a while. And this one. So I could do knots in it. And I do that with four strings just a knot in there and putting this in the loop you see so I can push it down so it will be tied to the last thread. I'll do another one. I'll do four again. And that's why you have to leave a bit of space, a length, because if you don't, well, you can't do this. Yeah, maybe it can with uh, tweezers. I have to Use another one, I think, so you can get them. It's a possibility. Now I should use this one. Ah. Well, it doesn't work, so I will try it this way. I can do it because it's long enough. Put this between so I can push the knot to the end.
last one from this side. So that's one side and I can do the other side too, you know, but I can glue a piece of lace on it. And what can I do with this? I can not put knots in there too, but well, I like the easy way, you know, <laughs> I like this way and I just cut the things off. I'm going to uh, glue a bit of lace on here. Maybe I should do that first. Just a piece of lace. Oh yeah, I uh, put this off. About. Where is my comb? Here it is. to be a bit careful because when I'm not careful I will pull everything out again. So uh, a piece of lace. Uh, which one? Not a big piece. Could use a piece of that. Something like that. Like so. And now I have to put glue on here. And I could do a piece of paper behind it. So it will be a bit more sturdier. I don't know if that is the right word. There's enough glue on it, and I just glue it like so on it, and then it has to dry, of course. It has to dry. Now I have to have a piece of baby wipe, but that one is dry, so a bit of water to clean this up. It's very hot in here and when I'm that hot I'm I can't concentrate. So I will glue some lace on here too and maybe first a little piece of paper. behind it. And a bit longer so I can glue a piece of lace on there. You see it's a bit longer. So I will put some glue on there. And I like gluing a piece of paper behind it because, well, it's it's a bit fragile. This. see what I mean and now my fingers are sticky so I 
I will glue this on. Like so, I think. This is good enough, yeah. Sticky fingers. So now I can cut this off because it's glued to the paper, so it will not go anywhere. And here I have a few little frays, and I will cut that off. I can leave it there. And now I want to, could do a piece of lace over here. Could do a colored one too. Uh, let's do this one. It's just a white. Or well, not white, it's creamy. I like this too. All that way. So it's a bit smaller that lace, so I will cut a bit a little bit off. Putting some glue on here for the lace. Which one did, did I have? Here, this one I have. Just like that. Oh, there is a a young man or a young lady outside with the car and the music on and boom, 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 boom. You hear it everywhere. Oh, you feel it. You don't hear it. I, yeah, I hear it too, but I feel it more. So this has to dry too. Maybe this is dry. I think I'm going to glue a bit of paper behind this. It's not quite straight. Just another piece of paper behind this. And then cut it off over here. Like so. Huh. Yep. I don't like sticky fingers though. <laughs> So this is okay. Well, what I can do is um, just cut, cut this off, but I also can glue it on the back. A little bit. Oh, here I have more. One, two more. Oh no, that's not one. This is 
like so. Yeah. Like I said, I have sticky fingers. And just glue this on the back. will be the back of the pocket so you can't see it but you can cut it off and I just cut this off just like that And this side too. Where shall I do it? Here is the thread. I'm just cutting it off. Voila! Easy peasy. And now I have a pocket. I can cut this a bit off. So. Because it's glued now. So it will hold, and this one too, yeah, I can just cut this off. And if you know that in forehand that you are going to cut those pieces off, well, you don't have to leave them that long, as I did. So, this is uh, number two. These are my pockets. So, I have these four with yarn and so, and this one with paper. Well, it works the same way. I did that, uh, I glued that behind and, well, you could glue a piece of paper on there too, if you don't want to uh, have those frays on the back. So, that's it. Uh, it's not difficult. And I like the result, and you can, of course, uh, glue something on there. If you have a pocket of a journal, I will get a journal. And if you are going to put that in, well, you can embellish it. Well, I have these little clusters here. Well, you can put something on there. Uh, maybe that's falling. No, that is a piece of uh, snippets on a row. Well, you can decorate it, but I like it this way. So. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.